Hey everyone, and welcome to another Autodesk screencast. My name is Zanta with Repro Products. Our screencast today will take a look at how to build a family that includes multiple family types and the yes no visibility parameter. If you like this video and like to see more, please search for Zanta. In this Revit 2017 software that I have, I have a family that I built with a connector. Now the overall family that we're going to be building is actually this family right here. Uh, this is nothing more than a rectangular extrusion with some connectors on the face of that geometry. And the intention of building this family is such that if the size changes, then the number of connectors will drop off or increase. So in order to make this happen and to build this family properly, the first thing you'll want to tackle is building the connector itself. What I did was I took and used the generic model family. So if you go to our new family and pick generic model, it makes life a little easier for you to work with because it's very simple, it's very clean. Uh, the only other thing you need to do prior to uh, you know, once you before you save it is to assign it to the correct category. If I look at this family in plan view, it's nothing more than a reference plane here and here that define the origin point. I created a circular extrusion where I can actually have a radius that I called connector radius that is variable. You can change it on the fly. And I went over to the front elevation and I created a thickness as well. So I just gave it some physical geometry, just a round disk, that's all it really is. The connector itself, this tool right here, is based upon <clears throat> the Create tab connectors, and I chose electrical connectors. Now I'm not sure exactly based upon the end user's request what kind of electrical connection this is for a distribution panel, so I selected the electrical connector. And in here, here's the instance property of that connector you will need to assign the data here as well. Once you've built this family, you can save it as a separate family. I called it Electrical Connector. I saved it, closed it, and then started a new family with the same thing, generic model, and I made a simple rectangular extrusion. The rectangular extrusion is going to be my quote-unquote plate that the connector sits on. I took the connector and hosted it inside this family, so I nested it. And the way to do that, do that is just clicking the command component and you'll load a component into it. If you have the connector uh, already open, so for example, if I go and open up the file again, if you have it open, you can just click load into project or load into project and close the file. So I'm going to click load into project and close the file. Since I already have it there, I'm not going to worry about reloading it. And now that it's in, I'm going to close this file because I don't need it anymore. Head over to the plan view. So to build the, this simple rectangular uh, plate, if you will, it's nothing more than an extrusion. I created reference planes to define the right, the left, the back, and the front as well. And actually, good rule of thumb is make sure your reference planes really kind of go way out beyond the geometry because it'll help with seeing the information better as you can see here. So let me take this and move it over and if it's pinned down you can unpin it and we'll move this out a little bit. We'll pin that down, keep it locked and then again I'm going to tab into this piece, pull this out and it just makes it for a much cleaner, better drawing uh, Revit family that you're building at the end of the day. So I've created reference planes for the left, the right, the back, the front, and the center lines. The extrusion, again, is just a simple rectangular extrusion. If we go to the front elevation, I have a parameter that controls the panel height. And right now I just tagged it as six inches because I wasn't really sure how big the panel needs to be. I did specify the length and the width. And I also set equality conditions here because the connectors, I need them centered vertically this way, not necessarily horizontal this way. 
if you take a look inside the family types window, the way that I have this set up is I have visibility parameters turned on and set up for each of the connectors. How did I do this? You can select the geometry, go over to visibility uh, parameter, and head over to this little button here called associate family parameter. When you do this, you can assign it a new parameter, and I called it connector one visibility. I did the same thing again for the second one and for the third one. If I go back to the family types window, and it's categorized as visibility, that's why it's all the way down at the bottom. <clears throat> if I select one of them and click this little pencil to edit the parameter, you can see the name is connector one visibility. It's a type parameter. Discipline is common. Yes, no parameter and set under visibility. So I basically did that for all three. If it's checked, that means you see the visible, you see the actual content. If it's not checked, you don't see it. So how do I go about creating multiple sizes and multiple connector options? What I did was I used the family type feature up here called type name, and you can actually create your own. So in here, I've already created three of them. So let's look at the first one, say four by four, one connector. If we look at that family type that's created, it has a measurement of four feet for the length, four feet for the width. I kept the panel height six inches across the board, keep it simple. But most importantly, you'll notice that only connector one is checked for visible. The other two are not checked, so you don't see them. And if that's the case and you hit apply and you hit OK, you're going to notice that the shape adjust, the connector is visible. These two are actually, right now I'm in the family editor environment, so it looks like, wait, wait, I see it. Technically, they're not there. Down here in the view control toolbar, there's a preview visibility feature in 2016 R2 and higher. You can turn that on. And it basically mimics you taking the family and putting it into the project environment so you can see the end result without actually having to do that. So you'll see preview visibility and it shows the one. If I go back to the family types window and I scroll up here and I change that to the eight by four connector, you'll notice the length changed to eight the width held at four, the thickness held at six inches, but more importantly, under the visibility, number one and number two is visible, but number three is not. So if I hit apply and OK, you're going to notice the shape changes again, and only two connectors are visible. And then lastly, you can do that for the third. So I built one called 12 by 4 by 3, and that's 12 feet, 4 feet, 6 inches, and all three are checked. Hit apply, hit OK, and now you can see all of them. Now this family that I built is really kind of based upon some rough assumptions because I'm not sure exactly how big this plate for the connector panel length is to be and the width is to be or how big the connectors are to be. So for your purposes and when you're building this, you have a better understanding of the size of this thing. It may not even need this plate. At the end of the day, this is how you build that family. And when you load it into a project, so I'll start a new project. I'll do control tab to jump back to that family. And I'll load it into the project. You'll notice immediately in the type selector, you have four by four, eight by four, and 12 by four. So I'll click to do the four by four, click to place the eight by four, and then the 12 by four. And you'll notice that all three come in of different sizes and the way that I drew the family and built the family, I put the connector on the bottom face, but I'm not sure exactly, again, what face you need that connector to be on, but you can assign that when you actually place that nested family. Um, and that's it. That's how you build this specific type of electrical connector family that involves fam multiple family types and involves the yes-no visibility parameter. Thank you very much for watching.